At the outset of this film, a man named, Riddick, is featured. He was trapped on a barren planet. One of his feet was also very injured, so he was walking around. There were dangerous aliens here who looked like a wolf. They suddenly start attacking Riddick. He hides in a water pit to save his life. He was holding his breath, and waiting for them to leave. When they leave, he comes out of the water. Suddenly, one of the wolves attacks him, who was there. Riddick throws a piece of metal away to save his life. The wolf runs towards him to take it. After that, Riddick goes to a cave, where he rests a little and thinks about his injury. What should he do now? There was also a pond in the same cave, where the same wolf had come again. The wolf had come there to drink water. There were also many dangerous poisonous creatures in the same pond, who looked like snakes. They killed the wolf there. Riddick was also hiding there and seeing all this. He also had to cross this pond to go to the way ahead. That's why when he starts going quietly from there, the creature living in the water saw him. He starts attacking him. He hid among the stones to save his life from that dangerous creature. And from here we know the story of Riddick, that how he came to this planet. Riddick used to live, on his own planet. He killed the king of that place. In return, he was made the king of that place. But even after becoming a king, Riddick used to be very worried, because many people were enemies in his life, who wanted to kill him and become king themselves. Because it was the rule there that whoever kills the king, that person will be made a king. And this was the reason that his life was always in danger. One day, the woman who lived with him also tried to kill him. But he was very clever. He caught her and killed her. Riddick had known that a man named Vaku was behind all this. Because he wanted to become the king instead of Riddick, he makes a deal with him. He says that if you tell me the way to a place called Furia Planet, then I will make you the king of my place here. Actually, the map of that place was over. But now only Vaku knew his way. He agrees with Riddick's words, and sends Riddick to Furia Planet with his special people. But when he reaches there, he finds out after a while, that this is not Furia Planet but a barren planet, and there is no trace of any human being here. He understood that this was just a trap of Baku. He sent his companions here to kill Riddick. All the companions attack him. He was also fighting with them. And while fighting, he falls down from the mountain. Now all of Baku's companions think that Riddick is dead. After that, they all leave that planet. This was the story of Riddick, how he came to this planet. Now let's see Riddick, who was still on this planet. He used to drink water from the pond and caught fish to eat. He didn't want to stay here, so he had to keep growing. He also kept a child of a wolf with him, so that he could raise it and make it his pet animal, which would also be useful to him. Because he required a companion, now little by little, he puts the poison of the poisonous creatures in himself and also in that wolf, so that he can become immune to this poison. Meaning, if the creature attacks him, then this poison has no effect on him, and no effect on his animal. Now Riddick goes to the same pond where the creatures were. He kills everyone one by one, and then leaves with his wolf. After that, we see the scene after a while, where Riddick's wolf had grown up. One day, his wolf brings him something like a ball. After seeing Riddick, he understood that there are also humans here. When he goes ahead on the same path, he sees a space station made by humans. When he goes inside and sees, there was no human there, but he gets some food. And along with that, he gets an article in which it was written about Riddick, in which it was written that whoever brings Riddick's cut head, will be given a very big reward. After which he comes out of the space station, he sees that there were black clouds outside, it was going to rain, which was bad news for him. Now he comes back in and turns on the space station machine and scans himself through the machine, he sends a message to all the planets in the universe that he is here so that everyone knows that Riddick is alive, because he knew that if he had to go out of this planet, he would have to call someone here for help. And he knew that by doing this, someone will definitely come there. And it also happens that after a while a spaceship comes there. There were some people in it who were looking for Riddick, but not in good. They did not come to save him, but they came here to kill him. After coming here, the leader of the spaceship closes his ship, and takes out his running power nodes, and puts them in a safe, and tells his companions to keep an eye on hit. He knew that Riddick is very cunning. If he gets these nodes, he will run away with the spaceship from here. And because of these nodes, the spaceship runs. That's why he hid it. When they come to the space station, one of the special men of the leader reads a note there, in which it was written that if you want to save your life, then leave a ship and go away from here. On the other hand, their leader had imprisoned a girl on the ship. Here the leader tells his companions to set the girl free. When the girl starts running away from there, the leader shoots the girl from behind and kills her. Riddick was also watching all this. The leader says that I know Riddick, you are watching me secretly, you will have to come in front of me, and without taking your head from here. I will not go empty-handed from here. Listening to the leader's words, 
His companions say that our leader is not doing right because he knew that Riddick is so cunning and dangerous, so he did not want to fight him. But they had to do all of this for their leader. They also put big cameras near the space station so that they will know about Riddick. But after a while, they find out that another spaceship is coming here. The leader did not want more people to come here because he wanted to kill Riddick alone. He wanted to get his reward himself. And here we find out that the leader was not sent by anyone else but Baku, who was behind Riddick. But nothing like that happened. The ship also lands and stops near the space station. The name of this leader was John. There was also a girl who was with him who was his companion. John tells the leader that I will not interrupt your work. Do whatever you want but let us do our work here. The leader was not the one to agree so easily. He was a selfish and greedy man. He also keeps the notes of John's spaceship in his safe so that no one can play tricks on him. And only after that he allows John to stay here. The leader always kept the keys to his safe around his neck. That night the camera was also broken. That the leader installed. It was damaged by Riddick and his wolves. The leader goes to check the camera with his companion, but John was stopping him. He says, to look, don't go there. It is possible that all this is Riddick's trap. He must have laid a trap there. But the leader does not listen to John, and goes away. As soon as he goes there, one of the leader's companions gets trapped and dies, and the other companion too. Then the leader sees that his third companion was also being pulled by Riddick and taken into the darkness. Seeing all this, the leader was very worried. There John also knows this, but as soon as he had promised the leader, but now the leader himself comes to John and asks for help, but he also misbehaves with his companion. In return, his companion punches the leader. John says, okay, I am ready to help you, but you have to give me to Riddick for just one day, then you can do whatever you want with him. It was clear that John had a different purpose of catching Riddick. After that, John first shoots at Riddick's wolf and puts a tracking device on it, because he knew that the wolf would go to Riddick. Now, following him, they reach Riddick, who was inside a cave. There they see that he had hung the dead body of the leader's man. He just wanted to distract them. And John also understood this. These people were here. So Riddick had reached the space station there. Now they go there quickly but even there they do not find Riddick. They understood that the safe in which they have kept the power nodes, he must have stolen it. But the leader was not ready to believe this. He says that all the time the key was in my neck. So how can this happen? Now he fearfully opens the safe and checks. But at the same time they also felt that maybe Riddick left a bomb in it. But when the leader opens the safe, there were all the power nodes in it. But this time they leave it open. And on top of that, Riddick comes in, steals them and hides them under the ground. When John finds out about this, he gets very angry. Now he says to call another ship by the radio, but due to the bad weather, he could not talk about it. But after a while, Riddick himself comes in front of them, who had thrown his weapon. He comes to them and says that give me a spaceship and take the power nodes. You have only a little time here, because it is going to rain. Saying this, Riddick leaves from there. When Riddick was leaving from there, the leader behind him tries to kill him. But then Riddick's wolf attacks him which drops him down. The leader also threw the wolf far away. Seeing all this, Riddick comes to save his wolf. John's companion comes and shoots an unconscious injection on Riddick. And the leader also killed the wolf. They make Riddick their slave. After this, when he comes to his senses, he finds himself trapped in the space station. Where John was sitting in front of him, and was asking about his son. Here we know that when Riddick was trapped on this planet, the people who brought him here, John's son was also in them. But Riddick does not answer John, and says that whatever is going to happen here, you should be afraid of it. John gives up and hands Riddick over to the leader. The leader was ready to cut his head with a big sword. As soon as he starts cutting Riddick's head, it started raining there, and the creatures that were hidden in the ground, were coming out because of the water. Everyone was hearing strange voices in the space station. Everyone was scared. Seeing this, all the creatures there attack them. The creatures have killed their two companions. Seeing all this, John understood that Riddick can save them. Because he has the nodes with which the ship will run, he was going to open Riddick, but then the leader comes there. Who was stopping him but in the meantime, John had opened a chain on his foot. Then Riddick uses it to kill the leader, and deals to John that I will give you the nodes but in return, you will have to give me a ship. John had also agreed to all his words. Now, they both go to the place after taking the bike, where Riddick had hidden the node. But on the way, John's bike breaks down. Now he sits with Riddick. They both reach the place where the power nodes were. Riddick says while removing them, John, I did not kill your son, 
but he wanted to kill so many people to save his life. He himself is dead, no one killed him. He was saying these things and suddenly the leader's companion attacks him. Riddick killed that man. That man has damaged their bike as well. They had to go to the space station on foot. After that, many creatures had also come there who attacked them. Those creatures had attacked Riddick and injured him. That's why John takes power nodes from him and goes alone. Riddick was standing there after bandage on his wounds, and alone he fights those creatures. But there was a very big creature was about to kill Riddick. But then the ship comes there, which starts attacking the creatures there. And this attack was done by John. John had brought the ship according to his promise. He had saved Riddick's life and he gives that ship to him. Riddick had now come back to his planet. First of all, he catches that man of Waku who had brought him to this planet. He puts a gun on his head and asks about Waku, because Riddick just wanted to kill him now, but he does not tell him anything. That's why Riddick killed that man. Later, the man's wife tells Riddick that Waku is now the new king here. Now Riddick will find Waku, and if he finds him, what will he do with him? With this suspense, the movie story ends here. Thanks for watching.